world, and Lindsay's doing some painting, I believe. Well, right, Lindsay? Thank you. You know, earlier in the month, we showed you a fantastic effect that will add some serious drama to any room. Just add stripes. And today, Jeff Monsine from Splat Paint is creating another interesting visual effect with paint. This time, we're making diamonds. Absolutely. You diamonds. just like the bling. Well, diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> and they look really cool on walls, too. It's Absolutely. As we mentioned, a very interesting effect. Well, you can do them in all kinds of styles. If you have a contemporary home and you want to do monochromatic diamonds, oh, that that's looks neat. really good. Or in a young girl's bedroom and you do orange and pink diamonds, you know, those are kind of fun. What so. if you were, had a very traditional home? What kind of diamonds would you want to put in, say, a dining room? Well, um, as an example, right here on the one of the panels here, if you wanted to add some diamonds with a little bit of uh, fleur de lis and some little decorative nail heads in between. And you just stenciled the fleur de lis exactly. in the middle of the diamonds. Right. Now this is one way to do the diamonds, and we'll get to why there's paint there or, or tape there with right. the paint on it in just a second. But let's go to another example. Right. This is neat. I like this. Now what this also shows you is a diamond that's sort of stretched out. This is like a harlequin diamond. So you can make diamonds like squares that are turned, or you can make them elongated. And this looks sort of like um, tile. It does. You know? And if you really look at it up close, it looks like let's just say that 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 tile is lifted off. Um, the wall. It's you've and you've yeah. done that through shading, right? Absolutely, and the little holes too. So there's some neat effects that you can add to the diamonds. Right. In this case, we added some highlights and some shadows just to sort of make it look like it's a kind of beveled edge to it. Yeah, and you've also put some uh, chips in there too. Little chips. Right. Uh, give it. Give, you gave it an antique feel. Absolutely. All right. Let's yeah. let's learn how to make these. Right. Then. When you make diamonds, the thing that's important is that you have to you have to use a little bit of geometry. So you have to actually create vertical lines on your wall or gotcha. your floor or whatever the surface is that you're doing and horizontal lines. And so you can see they're, they're measured out. If you want a, an elongated diamond, sure. then you're going to elongate your grid here. You're going to make the spacing between them different than your, your vertical versus your horizontal will be different. Okay, so you, you are going to have to use a little, little, bit, bit, of, of little yeah. bit of math, a right. little bit of measuring, but nothing too complicated. And then you just connect them. And you draw your lines across, and that shows you where your diamonds are. This would be a small diamond. This could have been a larger right. diamond, and so on and so forth. So you have to actually go around, your, measure your room, and figure out you know, how big you want your diamonds to be. And if you kind of look at this, and um, you can see the grid, right. and you can see that that's what you have to do. And down at the bottom, you can see where we've begun to tape out. Now, a neat thing about um, using tape is that you can get absolutely perfect lines without having a steady hand. Oh, we love that. So, um, tape out your diamonds perfectly. And I always put like a little dot where I don't want to put paint. Okay. So, <laughs> Just a real so, little reminder. So, this is where I do want to put my paint. And um, this is where I don't want to put my paint. So, that reminds me. Actually, these don't, these don't go here. So, ignore that one and ignore that one. Okay. These would actually be painted. But this is where you wouldn't want paint and you right. just want your diamonds right. right there. Right. And if you don't want paint to leak underneath your tape, yes. if you take a paintbrush and you paint this base color on the edge of the tape, so you're basically sealing the tape to the surface gotcha. and let it dry, then when you put your paint on that diamond, it can't go underneath the tape. So let's move over here for one second because this is a good example right. of it. You just, how you obviously, you taped out your diamond right. and then you put the tape over it. Right, and it's sealed on the edge there like you can see. Huh, and there's also a trick you have to taking the tape off and this right. is really important, you told right. me. Right, and especially because these are actually just paper, they're not, you know, walls. Right. Um, when you take the tape off, you, you want to pull the tape back on itself and you want to make a sharp edge so you're almost like using a knife. Huh. And if you pull it back sharply like that, then you're not going to rip the paint off the wall. Oh, that's neat because I'm really good at ripping paint off the wall. I love to paint, but I am good at destroying the work that I've done. Oh. <laughs> I want to show one other example of something that Jeff has done. I thought this was really neat. This, this was like, um, you made this these diamonds look like it was like a padded effect. Exactly, and I put some little buttons on there. So this is easy to do, and um, and this is a great way to, to colorful up a room and, and do some fun things. Just just play with a little bit, do a little teeny bit of math, and and you can do a great job. You know, between stripes and diamonds this month, you've really given us a flair for drama. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, and next <laughs> month is going to be just as interesting. Absolutely. So Jeff Monsoon from... Splat Paint, decorative artist. We thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. And for more information or, or to link to his site, just go to daytimeonline.tv. We'll be right back.